Hello and welcome to the maiden LinkedIn Live of the year 2023. Uh, on behalf of Fourth Partner Energy, I'd like to thank each and every one of you on the LinkedIn community. We're 67,000 plus and growing. Uh, thank you so much for being part of the 4PEL community. And at our end, we are striving to constantly create content that is more meaningful, insightful, and something that you find useful. So please join us in this journey. For those of us who just tuned into the Fourth Partner Energy page for the very first time, a quick sentence about what we do as a firm. We are India's leading integrated renewable energy solutions platform. We cater to the commercial and industrial businesses across India and Southeast Asia. We offer wind, solar, hybrid, battery storage and EV charging solutions for the corporates, which means we directly contribute to India's decarbonization story. Well, we're not here today to talk about business or aspects relating to that. In fact, we're talking about a policy that does not just impact one at the corporate level, whether you're a student, whether you go to a university or school, this is something that impacts every single human being across the population, across the globe. Very recently, we saw India debate at the parliament level whether the corporates should introduce a monthly menstrual leave policy. And today, we're going to be discussing just that. I'm Nitya Balakrishnan. I head the marketing team here at Fourth Partner Energy. And I'm joined by two of my favorite colleagues. Uh, can you take a minute to introduce yourselves before we kickstart the conversation? Sure, Nitya. Hi, this is Vaishnavi. I joined Fourth Partner recently, like six, seven months back. And the experience so far has been fabulous. Very good culture, very friendly, flexible and all. And I work in corporate finance and strategy. And also, I'm the only girl in my team. <laughs> Hi, this is Avneet here. I am a company secretary. So this is my fourth year with Fourth Partner Energy. And for, for me, the so far, for my journey with Fourth Partner is fabulous. Thank you. Well, Avneet, I'm going to start with you. And uh, before we actually delve into the merits or demerits, which side of the fence are you on? Should India Inc. today incorporate a monthly menstrual leave policy for the women? Yeah, th thanks Nitya. Uh, being a manager of uh, uh, manager which consists of 90% of females, okay. So I believe that a policy should be in place and I believe that if that policy is in place, that will give a flexibility to a female employee. Uh, and and when and whether they want to opt for a work from home or a leave, and we should give them a flexibility to opt out for that. And I believe that if we give them a flexibility, and I and and I have experienced that, and that productivity will never gone for a toss. Okay, so I believe that policy should be in place at corporate level, and I believe at university levels or at a school level also. Fantastic point. Uh, so Vaishnavi, my simple question to you is A, do you agree with the employee centricity aspect that Avni just brought? And if so, right, how many days a month should this policy entail? Thank you, Nitya. I completely agree with whatever Avni said and I'm really glad that you being the manager of to, like seven, eight female employees, you understand them, you empathize with their problem. Not problem, the menstrual cycle. So uh, I think we should give at least one day of flexi leave or a menstrual leave, whatever it is, to a female employee where we give her flexibility to work from home or she can act, opt as a leave. So honestly, I also think that each woman has different biological uh, cycle, different biological needs whenever they this menstrual menstrual cycle gets triggered for example i i am comfortable coming to office there are few people it depends largely on age also there are few people who have lots of cramps in the first day mm. there are few people who have lots of mood swings before the first day so showing the mood swings in the office is not a very good idea. So if they are given the leave, they can show that at home. That <laughs> flexibility is very important. I get a lot of mood swings, that's why I tell you. And I think, yes, one day uh, work from home or a leave, flexibility should be given for women. And rather than to see it as a, a, like a manism or a feminism issue, which a lot of people debate, I think you should just see it as a biological difference. 
it's it has the same concept of sick leave indirectly it's like a sick leave the female have a different biological cycle so one day extra leave is needed for them that's it all right now since both of you are uh, you know on the same side of the debate and before i kind of don my hat as the devil's advocate and pose some trick questions to the two of you on a personal front i completely agree right uh, there is a need especially as the workplace gets more flexible gets more hybrid technology is advanced we are capable of working remote in most cases there should be this policy uh, across india inc you have many other countries globally actually implement this uh, and names like zambia philippines vietnam where monthly periods leave for women employees is something that they do right so it is a step in the right direction but i want to again come back to you and this time you mentioned right you're probably the only girl in a very male heavy team right so at some point in this uh, in your in your work uh, career you're going to see you will be eligible for the extra day of uh, menstrual leave every month you will be eligible for maternity leave uh, as a young mother i realized that you need flexibility and the support of your workplace when you're in the fresh years of motherhood right so when all of this is something that the corporate workplace needs to kind of uh, dole out to women how do you make the male colleagues understand or you know get to a point where they don't consider it bias or they don't consider it half heartedness at the workplace good point <laughs> luckily my team is very understanding all of them are very understanding she just quoted that she is in her early stages of motherhood fourth partner as a company was very uh, like very comfortable with her uh, they empathized with her situation 100%. but i agree there are many companies like there are many male dominated companies where they don't even understand why women need a leave and i understand them also because until they face it they can't understand that so uh, i think one per a person should understand the fact that giving one day as a leave or work from home option for a woman will not affect her productivity for entire 30 days and apart from this there are women who can manage balance their work life even after taking this one day leave for example say they are working this one day where they have a lot of cramps or body pains or mood swings whatever it is the productivity is anyways affected for that one mm, day mm, so if they on. just take a leave rest for a while and come back and uh trust me on the other side women should also be very mindful that if they should take only if it is required and i don't think anyone would do that so uh people will understand if the productivity is not getting affected fair enough and you did mention right so i also believe that the owner should be on the woman employee right if you are in pain for me personally it's very painless periods right so i don't need to exercise that monthly leave even if i were offered it in which case i shouldn't take advantage of the system and i should report to work whereas i have my sister who has endometriosis pcod combined and she's doubled up every month and for somebody like her yes you know it definitely is a vote in her and automatically i think she gives back to the company more as well right but this is a policy where there should be no encashment of leaves there should be no carry forward of leaves if you need it take it if you don't uh, don't even think that it's there in your system is what i'd like to say but avni ji coming back today uh do you agree with her that men have to be more empathetic and understanding simply because the biological clock is different for men and women uh, and it's not a case of bias but probably we will be as a woman in the workforce uh, workforce taking a lot of such leaves uh, whether it's menstrual cycle whether it's maternity whether it's motherhood yeah i am totally with uh, agree with uh, vaishnavi on this for that uh, as a manager as a male manager having a having said that 90% of my colleagues are uh, female only so i believe at a at a corporate level along with that policy policy is must i believe that along with that policy we should conduct a awareness sessions also so that will help female employee as well as male employees to understand the situation and what are the issues a female face okay because that will help and understand a female who goes for this uh, every month on this cycle okay so i believe that uh, as firstly mentioned that we should give a choice to a female employee mm -hmm. that whether she want to opt for that or for a work from home or a leave okay and along with that 
if a awareness sessions frequently conducted at a corporate level that will also helps from top to bottom to to understand the situation i think so agni ji we're still at the time where sometimes right uh, sanitary packets sanitary pads are given to you in, in paper bags mm-hmm. or in black packets even at pharmacies and general stores right uh, for but energy is very different in that sense we have uh, you know uh, sanitary napkins vending machines in our restrooms uh, a fo- woman employee can come and say hey do you have a pad and you know one of us can pull it out openly and give it but the point about awareness that you make is so crucial and so important and i believe that now still i feel in this era in this modern age female employees still feel shy Definitely. that to to tell to convey to to their managers that I, that this is my first day of menstrual cycle rather than that they will simply say that i am not feeling well so as a male manager i i understand that that this this might be the period going on okay but i think female employees should come up and can 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 say that to to the management that to the manager that this is my first day of menstrual cycle i will not able to come to office and i will apply the leave or i will do work from home but if the, i think if that session is going to conduct at the level then it will create awareness and they will not feel shy i believe that absolutely now i'm going to come back with something and first i want agni's opinion on this before dialing you in uh, vaishnavi but we've been talking about what women need right now what does a man need today we're at that uh, place and as somebody who runs a home as well i expect my partner to participate in running of the house as well right we're both breadwinners and we better both contribute to the house as well given that should paternity policies should a little bit of understanding and flexibility be worked uh, into the ecosystem into the corporate policies for men as well your take on the paternity policy you know yes specific. yes i truly agree with you aditya uh, on this nowadays both the partner both the partners are working okay so maternity leave will go to a mother okay and that will be for a 6 month okay so but after 6 month also their their toddler requires their uh, attention of their parents okay now after a 6 month I, I i believe that mother has to join her office okay at that point of time or before that whatsoever the situation arise a a male a male also has to play some role flexible role to take care of their child okay and i believe a, we have a policy for a maternity but we don't have any policy for a paternity right but in our company also we we have some paternity leave but i am yeah but at a macro level there there is a no some fixed policy for for uh, apna male but i believe that minimum paternity leave should be one to two two months considering that nowadays we have a nuclear families partners are mostly not staying with their families and who so and the and the families who are not staying with the uh, with their parents i think they they require the time to spend with the newborn baby okay so i so in that scenario if we give a flexibility to males also that will also helps to a male employee to uh, to to contribute <coughs> towards the personal responsibility also and that will ultimately also help a female also to their partner to which to her also towards the organization she is working absolutely this point you agree with it's in cycles right yes. so uh, paternity within maybe one one and a half months uh, years of when a child is born is something that will help not just the male employee but also the partner yes. which helps the organization that she belongs to so do you agree with something yes, like this i 100% agree so in this point there is a responsibility aspect also and a fun aspect also i think both of them we should not snatch away from male people i agree that the first 9 months of maternity leave whatever is given is actually required for the body of the female employee but then after the kid is born i think there is lot of more responsibility that kicks in on both the parts the uh, like the father and the mother both on both parts lot of responsibility kicks in and one person i don't think it's easy for them to handle they need to have that companionship while upbringing the child for first few months at least and the other part is fun 
I think a father will have a lot of fun seeing the baby. In my own team, there's a, a new like a, a, one of my teammate recently. Uh, his wife gave birth to a baby, so he, I understand he wants to play with the baby. And with this flexibility, if it is not given, I don't think uh, he would be able to. He shouldn't snatch away this fun from him. Hundred percent, right? So if it is a woman who needs some understanding from the corporate world uh, workplace, it's the same for a man as well. And as times are changing, policies have to evolve. Uh, we'd love to hear from you on our comment section. Whether you're a student, whether you're uh, you know in the corporate workplace, whether you're an HR rep, please uh, interact with us through the comment section. But one more time, coming back to what we were talking about, right? And I'd like comments from both of you on this. Uh, you actually mentioned. If we start this in the corporate sector, then you're going to have to look at whether universities and schools have to look at monthly period leaves. And there is this other side of the spectrum, actually, which talks about ये तो होता है, होता रहता है. It's a natural phenomenon. You shouldn't, uh, you know, probably, uh, you know, blow it out of proportion. Do you think that's what will happen if you go down to a school and university level and say, hey, listen, maybe once a month they can take time off during the periods? You think it will actually have an adverse impact? Uh, so initially, I think even when it came to corporate levels, initially it did have a, a neg- it was in a bad space. Why talk about it? Why create awareness? What is in it? It's just like a sick leave. Why special treatment for women? If they want a menstrual leave, then they can take a sick leave as well. So I want to put a point in. Very honestly, I also used to think like this, but then I understood that hardly there are thirteen to twenty sick leaves given. And in that, if you take twelve for menstrual cycle, कुछ बचेगा तो नहीं sick leave के लिए. Mm. So I think this ha- this is the thinking change that I got, and probably at the same time many people would have gotten this change. So initially, though there was a resistance for this, slowly the corporates, the employees, even the female are okay to talk about it. Mm-hmm. So going to the universities, initially there would be resistance. But eventually, I think they would also understand. It's high time that everyone should understand. Oh, fair point indeed. And you should work with the system again for uh, you know yes. lack of repeating it. You can't play the system. So if whether you're in school, whether you're in university, whether you're in a corporate uh, organization, if they avail, if they give you this policy, then avail it only if you really need of it. And for all the women watching, especially, it is a very natural phenomenon. All of us go through it. So if yours is pain-free, great. If yours is a little bit of pain, we have lots of uh, you know over-the-counter pain relief uh, pills now. You have hot water bottles. Use what it takes to kind of make sure you feel like it's part of your routine life. It is part of your regular drill. But at the same time, a little empathy goes a long way in coming back. So the final word with you, uh, Amiji. How, if you were to address the men tuning in? How would you like uh, them to kind of empathize, whether it's at home and their partners and sisters and mothers, or whether it's in the workplace, empathize to understand this policy a little better? Uh, yeah, Nitya, I believe that we need to empathize first with the with giving them a flexibility at at my home also, mother, sister, okay, my wife, okay. So if they are not feeling, uh, they are not feeling good, and they are having a pain. And now, actually, it's a male responsibility to to help her for for our household work. And at our work also, if that female employee is not uh, not not feeling good and she is having a pain, now it's a responsibility of female employee as well as male male pain employee also. That female employee should convey it to the male employee. That and male employee should understand it, and they should convey and they should work accordingly. I think responsibility lies with both of them, and it and if and again that flexibility and that comfort if we give to female employee, then I believe that it will makes an impact then it, it then they will they they will feel much better because as uh, vaishnavi mentioned there will be a mood swings there will be a pain then they they will feel much lighter than then what they are feeling pain absolutely abhinit vaishnavi it's been an absolute pleasure chatting with you we hope you enjoyed watching this feel free to like share comment and tell us what you thought about this particular linkedin live uh, we are very clear you know a monthly period leave for women employees is the way the organization gives back to the employee and we are hoping that as a women employees ourselves and everybody else will give back to the company that much more if they go ahead and offer this small flexibility 
Thanks for tuning in. And from the Fourth Partner Energy team, goodbye.